What's up all you victorious 4 challengers out there? Welcome to another Tracks on Sundays. I'm Tracks to Max and this is another Raid Shadow Legends video. I personally am not that victorious today as this is actually the second time I'm recording. Well, not today, but this week. I actually recorded yesterday already to give myself some more time during the weekend. Guess that didn't really work out. Here we are recording again. The sound uh, just completely failed in the previous recording, so... We'll just have to do it again. It's no biggie. Uh, the only issue is now we are a couple of days ahead. And the reason why I actually recorded a few days ago is because we obtained physics on that specific day. So we were on 270 days. Um, I think that was yesterday or two days ago. I'm not completely sure. We'll check in a second. But first, we're going to hop into Hydra real quick. Um, since that's the talk of the whole week, apparently everyone's uh, all all hyped up about the new Hydra changes. Some are angry, some are happy, some are indifferent, like myself. Personally, I did do a record on this account. Almost 24 million on normal, so that's pretty cool. Tried this team on hard, and I couldn't even get this lower chest, so... Um, it's pretty remarkable that the team that does 24 million on normal can't even get the adept chest on hard. But um, since I already have this chest going for me, I am just going to try and put two keys in here and see if I can wiggle some damage to get the 5.1. Uh, I've already done a couple of runs before I started streaming or started recording. Um, but I figured, you know what, let's just record while we're at it. Um, because it's something I don't do that often on the channel. So, yeah. Um, what are we bringing along here? We're bringing along our daggers, since she has a defense down, which is, you know, equals more damage, obviously. Um, Skull Crown, she's decent for damage, as she has only AoEs. Problem here is that there is a Torment, though, and we don't really have a way to deal with that other than RNG. Um, we have this guy in here, very, very needed for the block buffs that he has. Um, if you're lucky, you can get it on all, all four heads. If you're not so lucky, you can get it on two heads. What I typically like to do is start off the run. He's going first anyway, and roll the dice. And if it hits three or more, we continue. If it only hits two or less, I just redo the run, right? Because it's I mean, it's just literally restart, so it doesn't really matter. Um, then we have the attack down, attack up of Ursula. She also has one of the best revives in the game. Although she's usually one of the champions that needs reviving. She just goes down really quickly. Uh, we have Aniri. She's pretty, pretty much our tank and our savior on the team. Also our heal if we need any healing done. And then we have a Kemptum. He's just more or less here for the Hex and speed up in all battles. Just noticed it became 2 o'clock here, which means the day reset. I kind of wanted to get this done with before the day reset because it was one of my um, missions. So I guess I missed out on one of the clans. Uh, clan, not clan, quests, unfortunately. Um, so we got three out of four here. I'm I'm cool with that. I roll with that. It's fine. Unfortunately, this one didn't really get it. Um, maybe it's not fine then, actually, because this is kind of like the head that I want to get rid of ASAP. My opinion, just a really annoying one, since I don't really have a mischief tank. Weird thing is, I have actually gotten the top chest in normal and get the lowest chest in hard uh, a couple of times, actually, already. But I don't know about this rotation, just it feels harder than some of the others for some reason. Maybe it's because Decay is just easily dealt with with a Provoker. Um, I'm not sure, because I always thought that that was one of the issues, that Decay was actually in there. When I saw there was no Decay, I was like, okay, cool, we don't need, don't need Provoke, but... I don't know. I don't know what's what's causing the issues here. Um, it's it's really weird, to be honest. 
So we got attack down here. That's nice. Um, I guess we do this and hopefully land some weakens. We got one off. So this one gets the cloud, but we knew that was going to happen. Can we get an AOE? Yes. I did that so that their defense decreases a little more since he has the blessing, right? Okay, so... Yeah, normally I would like to hit this guy, but I guess I'm just going to hit Blight then. We don't really want to take this guy off too much, as we are already going to do so right here, it looks like. Yeah. Boom, boom. No. Okay, so here the attack. Yeah, there's a lot of damage already. Even with a with a attack down, it's still kind of annoying. Let's see here. So we can do attack down here. Well, we could have done attack down there, but we missed it, of course. Um let's see. I guess we do this to get an AoE healing. Try to get weakened off. We do land the weakened. Actually, I should have went, went for this one. That was dumb. Okay, she gets that done to her. Um, Attack down again. Yeah, it's very important here. More, more important than the attack up, actually. Let's see. I don't really want to revive. I'd rather rev wait till she dies, revive her, and have her do her AoE revive. So, yeah, best bet is to attack this again. Well, we don't get an attack because of fear. Uh, defense down. Yep, we landed on everyone. That's pretty cool. Okay, now I do it. Oh, the hex is gone. Damn it. Okay. Um. So maybe I do. Yeah, yeah, now I do this. Oh, never mind. Ear procs, RNG, not working out here. That would have been really nice because she resets her cooldowns. So uh, she would have had her revive back again immediately. That would have worked out really nicely for us. But unfortunately, we got RNG. RNG'd twice, but now she gets it back. So it's cool. All right. Now you can revive everybody, give everybody some defense buffs that's going to help a little bit too um some healing extension of the buffs this this one steals them of, of course uh why wouldn't they Ooh, that's bad only two got the uh the block buffs yikes uh, get the attack down yes okay nice this one just has to have a permanent Permanent attack down, otherwise we get bodied, right? All right. Um, see, I don't necessarily think that attack up is really good right now, since we can't hit two of the heads anyway. Um, yeah, no, just going to do this. And this one has the attack down, so just be patient. Um uh, do that. Man, they all get provoked. Okay, can we... Thank you. I was going to say, can we take a turn so I can actually attack this thing? Got attacked. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think... I don't see me doing better than this, to be honest. Like, I'm going to keep this results and... Um, I'll check and see what else I have going for me, but it doesn't look like I have much at all. So, I don't know. Maybe one's physics is a part of the crew. As you can see, she's already 50. Um, been leveling her up during the training event that was recently on. Um, but once we get this, the decreased speed is pretty good. And then obviously for decay, the provoke is going to work out really nicely. Speaking of the training event that was going on that was the deck of fates that's one of the things that a lot of players have been 
frustrated with, apparently. Um, I had no clue. I haven't been following what's been going on in, in Raid, actually. And uh, I was ready to summon, man. But uh, I, w I had, like, all this stuff saved up. I even had some extras if I wanted to, right? I could have bought another one of these big ones and another one of these. So I, I felt like for this account, I was actually doing pretty well with these soul stones. I've been really patient and waiting for an event and now we finally had one and I mean, I don't typically listen to what anyone says, but um I kind of got the point that you know, Plarium added like 40% to the threshold of points needed and stuff and what you got in return for your soul stones. So yeah, you know, I I was like, okay, I can uh, help out here with the community. And uh, I mean, if, if the general idea is that it's a bad event, it's probably a bad event. But again, I haven't really seen the breakdowns of content creators other than Burrito Slayer. He uh, was talking about it. And yeah, I didn't, I, I literally had no clue. I didn't know. I, I would have just pulled my, my soul stones, dude. I, I didn't know. But we did end up getting a bunch of cards anyway. These are all from training, and we ended up getting the Void shard as well. It's basically all I wanted out of this, right? I didn't really want... I mean, the Speed Glyphs are nice. This Essence is nice. The books are okay. Everything in here was pretty good, except for uh, the Fragments for this champion. I don't really care about. Because the only thing we can do with that is obviously um, trade them in for another champion that we can't use. So, whoop de doo you know? What does it all mean? Um, I guess this is gonna disappear soon and then we can trade them in for some fragments for this. What what does that give again? Yeah, like chickens. Chickens and books. So, all right. I'll take that, whatever, that's fine. Anyway, um, we have been pushing Faction Wars. Still, so last week I was on 382, no, what am I saying? 782, yes, and we are now on 791, so what did we push? We actually were able to clear the Sylvan Watchers, but the last stage we still need a 3 star. Uh, right at the end, one of the champions dies, and... For some reason, I can't get any books into my reviver. So his cooldown is still seven turns. If this was five turns, I would have done, I would have had it long, long ago. But this is just a little too long to, you know, work with and revive twice in that time span. Um, I'm, I'm trying to not do damage and get the cooldown back on time to pick him back up, keep him safe, and then kill the, the boss, but it's just not working out like that, and we're just, you know, killing the boss too fast in that matter. Or you could just say that one champion is dying too fast, that's that's another uh, way to look at it, but it's, it's not working out, right? Um, I did a couple of attempts this week. Uh, I really wanted to get it finished because I was just, like, that close, you know? Um, but yeah, we got ourselves a, another legendary book out of that. So I guess that's pretty cool, but we do want the three, the three stars on that stage so that we can finally say, okay, this is done. We don't need to work on this anymore. Um, good to know, know for myself though, that I'm not going to have to build a second tree, not a uh, tree shield, not, um, I was wondering if that may be the case or not, but I'm, I'm sure now that we have it in the bag. What else did I do? Shadowkin is the same, I think. Dwarf, nothing changed either. Hmm. Sacred Order? Did Sacred Order change? No, I think that would stay the same as well. I would have to go back and look to see uh, what the difference is there. Or Crypt is 100% still the same. Uh... We just need some epics or something in that faction, dude. We need some good champions for that. Um, Demon Spawn. Hold up. 
that might have went up a little bit. I'm not completely sure, though. Skinwalkers, however, 100% did we get some stars on that. This is basically the team we're working with. I did bring up a Bloodhorn to 50, uh, level up some of its gear. And this guy, Wurgren, has actually been pretty nice. Um, I put him into a Swift Parry set because he has this swaps HP with an enemy, then grants an extra turn. So if this procs and he gets, you know, one HP and the unkillable, it's really strong to go into this A3 because then obviously the target gets one HP and then he can just knock it out with one of these things. Um, he can actually knock it out. And if he kills it with this, he gets another unkillable placed on him for the next turn. So that's that's really strong, right? Uh, also places true fear on all enemies if this kills somebody, which, you know, if they have one HP, they're going to kill, uh, he's going to kill somebody. So, um, yeah, and I've had this actually occur in uh, in the waves and it's it's just really strong. You can, you know, it's, it's a form of CC. It's a form of one shotting specific targets in the waves, right? Um, could be a, a Valkyrie or whatever, something that's really annoying for you, uh, a man eater, whatnot. And you just, you're like, ah, no, let's swap HP and then I'll just wreck you with this A2 and then place true fear on all your homies, right? And yeah, it, it it's a lot better than I actually anticipated for uh, what we're trying to do here. We do have some AoE, of course, with ba Basher and Akemptum, so it's not like this is our only damage dealer. And if anything, the support in this faction for us is lacking, and that's why I brought up this Bloodhorn to 50 and um, this other one to 40. But, uh, yeah, they're, I don't know if they're going to be able to clear the whole faction, man. I, I highly doubt it, but... I gotta say, we are restarting everything up to like stage 16 or something. And then I think we did all the other stages except 21. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they can actually do it, you know? Maybe if, if I take those two cows up to 60 or 1 to 50, 1 to 60, maybe they can do it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not completely sure. Um, what I can say, though, and, um, you know, we're human. We make mistakes. We don't know everything. I was convinced that five, five branch armless air could actually clear all of, you know, all of that faction, basically. And I have to come back from that because the problem with Sylvan Watcher fact, faction is, or Crypt, is that the last stage... The final boss in that stage is the boss that actually one-shots people, uh, ignores defense, just does a buttload of damage onto onto the target, and you'd ha you'd have to be like really 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 lucky to um, get get by there. I think with five of those dudes, there could be a world where they're all where, where they all have masteries, um, maybe. Maybe two are in a toxic set or something, uh, but they all have like War Master or Giant Slayer, Slayer, either one. Um, one maybe in a bolster set, maybe one in a Guardian set, something like that. And that they just survive long enough and kill the, or do enough damage quick enough to the boss that you can get them down in time. But right now, it's just looking like that's not really. Uh, a possibility we are killing him as you can see like uh we need two more stars on that stage but unfortunately one of the level 50s is still going down so i guess it's this one this one's going down towards the end which you know is reasonable it's only level 50 um in my opinion for level 50 it still has some pretty decent stats but yeah it's just still not enough so Actually, we have to do it like this, right? Yeah, there you go. 
A lot of speed extra from those area bonuses. People, it's a, it's it's funny. I read this quite often that people don't do live arena, but then they will also say um, X dungeon is too hard, or 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 Hydra is too hard, or whatever it is, right? But it's like, well, dude, you can literally get like these kind of extra stats if you put in some work into Live Arena. And Live Arena, by the way, is kind of made for dummies anyway, because the thing is, if you lose three times in a row, you automatically get placed against a bot. And your wins equal more points than your losses. So even if you lose three times in a row, you go like minus two, minus two, minus two. You win against a bot, that's plus five. So you actually, in four in four games, three losses, you only lost one point. Which means if you, in five battles, win one against a bot, a one against a player, you're going up four points, no matter what. So it's kind of, you know, they made it so that you normally should be going up. Even if it's very, very slow, you should be going up and you should be earning some of these points just by doing live arena. I know it's, you know, it takes a long time. It's not just something you do every single day because you have an hour, an hour to spare, but just try to wiggle, you know, half an hour a week or so. I don't know. You can, you can slowly build up to these kind of things for different eras in the game. Uh, personally, I went for Faction Wars because I'm going for Lydia, and these are really, really cheap. But um, even like for here, Demon Lord, 12% ignore defense. That's huge, dude. That's that's literally half a Savage set on all your champions extra, right? I mean, think about this three years ago. This this would have been massive three years ago. Uh, when when Savage and Cruel were basically the only two things that actually gave ignore defense. Uh, almost 10% crit damage extra, 6 speed extra for everyone. It's just, uh, you know, these are nice, nice bonuses to have. Uh, I think I got a couple in Hydra, yeah, a, bit of, a little bit of speed. Some ignore defense, some accuracy extra. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just think... Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of Live Arena either. It's open right now, by the way, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get in here real quick, do some... do some battles here real quick while I continue. Um, I, think, I think Live Arena is just something that you should try and pick up a little bit of, right? Even if you don't enjoy it, it it's still... Extra stats for your account uh, without having to farm the gear, without having to get the good rolls. It's just, you know, it's static. You get it once and it's just there forever and you're going to have a easier time doing things, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I understand that, that it's not fun for a lot of people, but can, I can guarantee you if you ever encounter like a whale and you're you're not a whale yourself, you're free to play or whatever, um, and you beat them, that's a pretty good feeling, and it makes a lot of the struggle worth it. And I've heard this from a lot of players that are free to play, and uh, they share their experiences against people who have all mythical teams and uh, are getting their butt kicked still. All right, uh, what else did I want to show you guys? I had a lot of things I wanted to show you last you know, a couple of days ago. So I was on day 270 when I recorded the first time, but we are now on day 272. Um, so yeah, we got physics. Uh, I haven't done anything with her other than take her with to f uh, level her up, um, but she has no masteries yet, no books, no gear, no nothing. She's just bare naked right out of the gates. But she's going to help us a lot with this, of course, the decreased speed, the provoke here on the A3. Um, 
maybe some areas of the game we can use this. I'm not completely sure if I need this at all, but if I do, um, it'll be handy, of course. Maybe, maybe for Astronix or something, or what's her, the the Dark Fay? Um, maybe to keep the turn meter down a little bit or something like that. I'm not completely sure, to be honest, but. We have her, she's strong for sure, and uh, yeah, she will be get, getting 60 as well. Um, Dark Elves is one of the factions, though, that we already cleared. Um, relatively easy, and we also just recently six-starred Mithrala, right? So um, that faction is pretty much done. Um... One of the things I wanted to show you in my previous recording was the Doom Tower, actually. We are the highest right now that we've ever been. Uh, so we're sitting on stage 80. We have five days left. So that means technically, one, two, three, four. Technically, if I don't miss a day, we can actually get through here and we might be able to clear the Doom Tower hard for the first time. Um, this is one of the more easy or easier rotations, I'd say. But still, I mean, with our roster, it's still kind of a, a, a challenge, right? Now, funny enough, and somebody pointed this out to me, um, the Scarab King I actually did with our Mithrala here. Mithrala, I put into a re regen set, and uh, yeah, these are our stats. It's nothing amazing, but it was enough for us to get through this stage, and she just solos it, right? She's just here to cl help clear the waves to speed this up a little bit, but uh, she I just let this run and came back, and yeah, she did it, so we're going to see if she's going to be able to do the next one as well. I'm not sure about that, but um, I thought it was pretty cool, actually. Uh, I guess, yeah, I, I tossed my scrapper in, into the vault because I don't know if I'm going to be have, having to build them now that we have her, actually, to do the job. So, so I guess we will start here. Um, this team has actually been all kinds of stuff, but the higher I'm getting into the uh, stages the the more support I seem to need because first there was like Tervold in there one shotting people I think I even had like Tervold and my school crown in there at first but um yeah eventually it it ended up being like Eurogrim plus her and him to be, to do the damage like them and poison obviously and then he does some decent damage and freezes then. But this one also gives like extra healing because that was the last thing I actually changed about this team. But this is basically what I've been uh, climbing with. And it's slow. It's very, very slow. I'm not going to bore you guys with it because they do do it on auto though, which, you know, that's fantastic. I just let this run and in the meantime, I go to other stuff like edit this video in a second. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for this week, I believe. Um, no flashy new toys other than the Vizix, of course. But yeah, it, it might take a while for me to actually build Vizix since we're not really in a hurry to do anything with her at the moment, right? Um, I'm more interested in getting my faction wars cleared and work from there basically and see what I want to do from there but um, hopefully soon we'll have a different soul stone event where I can finally pull those soul stones anyway thank you so much again for joining me this week um, if you have any questions any remarks if you want to start your own void account definitely just go ahead and uh, make a new account I'd say um, get a borrow was a code that we used to get a borrow but i believe that doesn't work anymore but you can still find a code i believe for light sworn if i find the link for that i will put it in the description um, that's a pretty decent champion to start off with 
And yeah, you can start your journey with Void only as well. Also, Fallen Doge still has one spot if you are interested in joining us. We are a level 14 or 15 clan. I'm have to lie there. I'm not completely sure. But we do have the Yakarl frags you can work towards. We have uh, occasionally the Void Shard that is in the shop. Uh, we have the Epic Book that can be huge for new players because um, it's not that easy to get those in the beginning. Yeah, lots of cool stuff in the shop, obviously. Uh, we down Ultra Nightmare, Nightmare Brutal every day. We down Normal of the Hydra. Last week, we actually got Normal and Hard downed, which was fantastic. Gave us a lot of Soul Stones. That's part of why I have so many saved up. Um, yeah, if you're interested in that, you want to create an account, Fallen Doges, we still have one spot left, so check it out if you want. Otherwise, you can come find me on my Discord tracks on Sundays. And, uh, you know, if you just want to ask me questions there about the account or our clan or whatever, hop in there and we can definitely help you out. But that's going to be it for this week, I'm afraid. Uh, hope you all have a nice rest of your week and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.